Hey, you there. You clicked on this video because you want to know how to beat those Sherbert comps. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the perfect, well, mostly perfect, Sherbert counter if you don't have them. Uh, anyone that has Sherbert before I do, they're Copium, and we don't like them. So this team was built from the ground up by Wolfie Jen, uh, someone that watches the YouTube channel and someone that comes to stream every day. Uh, they built this team and gave me this team because I didn't have Sherbert as well as they didn't have Sherbert. So we needed a way to defeat Sherbert. So we made this team. And if you guys want to help me with team building and watch me test these teams out live on air, you know, 2 p.m. CST, come check us out. Twitch.tv forward slash YouTube can't see me. Pug Champ, and maybe drop a subscribe on the channel if you want to see some more cool videos. Anyways, guys, let's hop right into the team. Now, basically, guys, this team is built to beat those pesky, pesky, pesky Sherbert comps, and I hope you guys enjoy this and use this to defeat them. So, guys, hopping into the team now. On this team, we're going to be using Finn, Wolf, Eclair, Black Pearl, and a BTS cookie. As far as treasures, we're going to be using Cooldown Clock, Attack Scroll, and Revive Feather. As far as toppings, guys, on Finn, we're going to be running full Swift Chocolates with a focus on damage risk and cooldown. Down, you need to make sure the cooldown is under 17% for Finn though. On that boy werewolf cookie, we're going to be running full almonds with a focus on damage risk, HP, and attack speed. You want to make sure that uh, you get these three stats up as much as possible, mainly focus on damage risk though so he doesn't die. Uh, but you also are going to need his candy level 10, so if you haven't got his candy level 10, make sure you're doing that because he has one of the best candies in the game, guys. For E. Sussy Claire, we're going to be running full almonds with a focus on damage risk and cooldown. You want at least 8% cooldown after you get there, make sure you just pour as much into damage risk as possible. On Black Pearl Cookie, we're going to be running full Swift Chocolates with a focus on damage risk and cooldown. You want to make sure you can get damage risk and cooldown over 20%. I know a tall task, but that's what you got to do to beat those comps. And finally, on the BTS Cookie, we're going to be running full Swift Chocolates with a focus on cooldown. You just want cooldown. If you can get attack, that'd be great. If you can get crit, that'd be great because you get more healing off of that. But really, 24.4% cooldown is what you want. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and take it into this first match here. I think they're running a Sherbert. This is a my revenge battle so hopefully they're running a sherbert they were on my uh, defeat list so i'm hoping they are here uh they're also they're not running frost queen so i don't know if this is gonna go too too well they were running double healer okay yeah they're running the same comp they used to beat me hopefully this team just still does the same i've never faced this team with or against a double healer per se uh but uh from what i know herbert is a bit squishy so if you can get him down and kill him that is absolutely great because his freeze will cuck you and he does so much damage after the one minute mark he shreds your whole team now with him only running one dps on the team this is really really big for them because uh they are going to get the fin buff on him and look at this he's already shredding the team he already killed my eclair once hey yo brother chill out but we did kill him again hey yo like that oh wait no we didn't i thought we killed him oh please don't die please don't die Okay, okay, wait, they only have, they only have, they only have Mr. Schwarzwater left. Okay, I think we win this. Yes, we won. As you see there, boys, very, very, very close, fine margin of error there. But we did come out on top. We did win there. We beat that Sherbert comp like it was not yesterday's business because we almost lost. But let's take a look at the damage numbers here. My, that boy did almost 5 million damage. That's uh, out of this world insane. Uh, looking here, we did 3.8 million damage. Healing done. Uh, 3.8 million healing from there. Ayo, absolutely popping off. Absolutely insane. As you can see, they were running double healer too. And we still clapped his cheeks. Anyways, guys, let's hop into another couple matches here and show off a little bit more what this team can do. Guys, this is a troll match right here. <laughs> Look at this. This guy's running four cookies. Oh, he's running a Sherbert. Watch me get Molly Wop destroyed by this guy that's running four cookies. Honestly, Sherbert's just that good, guys, where you can just run four cookies on a team and slaughter people. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at my mans here. So the reason you run Eclair on this team is because you keep putting the debuff on their Frost Queen and Sherbert uh, to make them take more damage. Uh, now, you can be cucked if they're running a Herb on the other team because Herb will clear out that debuff. But uh, that's the point here. Just, just stack the debuff as much as you can. Stack it as much as you can. After you stack that debuff, then you just uh, try to go through and kill them. Now, uh, I will say, a Frost Queen after the one minute mark, after you've been procced up and loaded up with Frost debuff, is really, really deadly. We did win that match there, boys. Ayo, big ups to us there. As you see, we're 2-0 and right now. That guy was only running four cookies. But th that guy almost did kill my whole team with running four cookies. That's just how strong the comp is. That's why this comp right here is so strong. Uh, because it can, because it, it's just a good counter for this. It's a really good counter against a five-star Frost Queen and a two-star Sherbert. Holy, guys. Well, if he was running a fourth cookie, I might have lost. But we came out on top. So, ayo. 
Alright guys, hopping into a third match here. I have no got no clue what this guy's running. Maybe a vampire in the back with a DPS in the middle or something like that. But um, I just want to show you guys what this team can do against other teams outside of Sherbert Cookie. You you already seen what this team can do against teams that are using Sherbert. Uh, it does uh, clean up those teams. Oh, he's running double healer and a vamp. That's kind of weird. Okay, vamp already sniping out of the gate here. Okay, I thought I was going to be double DPS. Uh, so, generally, Eclair is really good for double DPS. Um, if they're not running, like, too strong, strong DPS, it's probably better to swap out Eclair on this team uh, for someone like Frost Queen. Um, I do have a separate team, which I'm going to make a video on, that does use double DPS, a Frost Queen Espresso, and that's been also working out pretty good. I would say uh, Frost Queen this season is honestly a lot better than they were in previous seasons, uh, which is very surprising. But, yeah, the Frost Queen's popping off. Sherbert's makes Frost Queen even better, and we won that match right there. Pog champ! Alright guys, hopping into our final match here against the, the best girl Quinlan here. I don't know what the heck that means. Uh, but this is going to be another comp that we're going to test that against. They're running two DPS in the middle. They're probably running a Caviar Pearl with double tank up front, as we saw there with BTS in the back. Yeah, Caviar Pearl, as I saw there. Uh, let's see how this comp does against this team here, because we're also running kind of the same comp, except we're not running uh, a Charles or a, uh, or, or a Captain Caviar. Now, Captain Caviar is also really good this season, guys. Uh, he's he's, he's kind of popping off this season. He's a little bit better than last season, I would say. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and hop in here and see how we do against this team with this team that Wolfie so gracefully, graciously, and amazingly bestowed upon us. Let's see how many procs we can get on this Captain Cavi Cooker. Oh, we already killed him once. He propped the revive off on him. As you can see, he doesn't have a buff anymore, debuff anymore. Ow! We won again. Oh my god. Hold on. Chris Pratt, let's -a go. Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie, guys. We're four for four right now on this team. Absolutely snap and that was the last match as you can see there. So this team is pretty good guys If you want a good sherbert counter uh, This team right here is the team that you would go for try to build this team I showed you the toppings go back to the beginning of your video and pause if you want to see those again So if you guys want to recommend some cool and wacky comps make sure to come check us out on twitch and also leave in the comments below But anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video if you have any questions comments I don't know why I said that again. Anyways, bye